Hello, my name's Dan, we're the Royal Institution, and it's Halloween, so as is tradition, we're torturing pumpkins. This year, with electricity. So our pumpkin gave us an orange flame because it contained salt, and salt contains sodium, and sodium, you may remember from your flame test in chemistry, always gives us an orange flame. So for example, if we burn an alcohol like methanol, we get a blue flame. But I've added a sodium compound, sodium chloride or salt, to this one, and we should get our orange flame. There it is. But of course, other chemicals, other compounds will give us other colours. So I've added a boron compound here, and I'm expecting a green flame. Fabulous. And I've added a lithium compound to the last one, hopefully to get some red. There we go. Let's let those burn out. I can definitely see those colours. Brilliant. So if the fire is giving us different colours by adding energy to these uh, atoms, we figured so could the electricity. So why pickle with just normal sodium salt? At home, I started pickling pumpkins in all kinds of different chemicals. Things like boric acid to try and get some green, potassium to try and get some purple, and strontium to try and get some red. So let's see if these work. Here is our strontium pumpkin. Some pretty good red coming off of there. This is our potassium pickled pumpkin, and uh, I'm hoping to see some purple. And if you look closely, while most of the pumpkin seems red, there are some purple flames and sparks coming out at the edges. This might be interesting later on. Lithium chloride. Here is a copper sulfate pickled pumpkin. Now the copper I'm hoping will give us some green. Ah, it's not working though. If you look really closely, although we're not seeing much light come out of the pumpkin, you might see some green sparks at the edges again. Mm. So why didn't our green pumpkin work? Well, I have a theory. It's just a theory, but I think the orange flesh of the pumpkin is actually acting like a filter. It's blocking out the green light. And that's why we could only see bits of green at the very edges as sparks and flames made their way out of the pumpkin and gave us the light directly. My theory is reinforced by the potassium pumpkin, which I thought should give us quite a purple flame. But again, we only saw red. Now that would make sense if we were filtering out the blue colours through the orange flesh of the pumpkin. And when we see sparks and flames from outside of the pumpkin, then they seem to be more purple. Perhaps because we're getting the blue light. But the truth is, I don't know. So if you've got any ideas, we'd really like to hear about them. So where are these different colours coming from? Well, in the compounds are different elements, and elements, of course, are made of atoms. Now, atoms like to be at an energy level we call the ground state, somewhere they like to be. But when we put energy in, whether or not it's through electricity or through heat, we are putting more energy in, and we are putting those atoms in an excited state. For that atom to get from its excited state back down to its ground state, it needs to get rid of that energy, and it always does this in the form of light. Every element has its own set of wavelengths it gives off. This is its emission spectra. It's unique to the element and it results in us seeing different colours. So we were a little disappointed that we couldn't get any green light from our pickled pumpkins by electrifying them. So, as with all of our problems here at the Royal Institution, we've decided to set it on fire. I've added some of our boron solution uh, with our methanol into this pumpkin. Let's see if we get some green fire here. Oh. So for one final thing, I've got myself some mystical fire, or a powder that you can add to campfires to make them look a little bit more interesting. Let's see what we get from our pumpkin this time. That's it for Halloween for us this year. Hope you've enjoyed the video, of course. Give us a like and a subscribe. And if you want to support what the Royal Institution do, then you can check out our Patreon. Uh, for now though, my name's Dan. Happy Halloween. Thank you very much. Goodbye.